all right all right all right what is going on you guys it is Mira. it is Shiva. it is Beaver. it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again back back at it again we are here to do our inner self guidance message reading again that's the inner self guidance message we are here to find out what our inner self would like to say to us right now um i have no idea what sign we are reading for today so we're going to use the tarot dice and we're going to do a quick shake and break it on out we're going to see who we're reading for today so everybody focus your energy let's pray that your sign comes out let's get it let's see so this is i believe what pisces i think we already read for pisces let's see we we read for pisces yes we have read for pisces let's see let's do another one This is Capricorn. We already read for Capricorn. Let's see. This is Libra. Did we read for Libra? Nope. I don't think we read for Libra. All right, Libra. Libra, what it be, bro? Let's get into it, Libra. Let's get into it. Let me write you down. Okay. Libra. All right. Just make sure I ain't tripping here. Nope. Mm -mm. We didn't do Libra. Let's get into Libra. All right, Libra. What it be, bro? Let's get into it. Let's get into your self guidance message so um i want to give a shout out to all my ogs i want to give a shout out to all my newbies to all my babies for liking sharing and subscribing i want to one time for the one time again give a big shout out to my libras this reading is for you baby let's see what it do um before we get into the reading we want to give father god a shout out and praise before we get into any of the messages today so father god thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of libra we want to thank you for loving us we want to thank you for molding us we want to thank you for holding us please give the sign of libra the inner guidance message that they need to receive today we thank you for all of the blessings that you give us every day we pray we pray in jesus name amen amen and amen So, give me one second. Alright, All right, Libra. Let's get into your inner guidance message. I did see that prosperity when I split the deck. Come on now, won't he do it? Let's get that inner guidance message for the sign of Libra. Alright, Libra. What we got to look forward to with the sign inner self want us to know right now what does libra want to tell yourself right now all right let's get this going what's the inner self guidance message for libra what does libra want to tell yourself right now all right what's this we got passion all right all right, I did see that come out in a reverse, so we want to wake that passion up a little bit. And we got clear sentience. Notice how your reoccurring physical motions, I'm sorry, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Hmm. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, you got relationship harmony. Hmm. I'm going to take this card because I feel like certain relationships with certain people could be throwing your passions off right now. Because I really got to take this as I've seen it and read it like that, like how I've seen it moving forward. It's like your passions could be thrown off right now and it could be it could have something to do with the individuals that you're dealing with right now. It's like somebody could be throwing your frequency off like certain personal relationships that you have with people. You may want to look at that right now and see how they currently make you feel. Like how do these people really make you feel? Like do, does it drain you? Does it motivate you? 
towards your passions? Does it motivate you and help you, you know, get yourself going in the morning? Does it motivate you to put your foot out there and go make those investments to go shopping and go and, you know, do whatever it is that you need to do to put your best foot forward every morning? Or does it throw you off? Hmm. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings. It's like some some things and certain people could be making you sick sometimes. <laughs> it's like just even having to answer the phone and deal with these individuals. Have you ever received a text message from somebody at work or somebody that you have to deal with for certain reasons? It's like, you know, it could just throw you off and throw your whole day off where it's like, now you don't even want to do anything. Like, you could have came to work with a positive mindset, a positive, you know, mode. You would have been completely <laughs> on your shit. And then as soon as a certain individual sends you an email, and that's the first email that you see in the morning from this individual, it just throw your whole day off. And it's like that whole motivation that you had, you had your burnt toast and coffee, you were ready to go, you were happy, you were singing, you were whistling while you work. Now all of a sudden it's just like, <laughs> I like that's happened to be so many times, especially at work. It's just like one individual could just fuck my whole morning up. And it's just like, it just be, oh, is this the three of swords? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And this is the before tarot. So it's telling you about something before it even happens to you. Because it hasn't pierced your heart yet. It, it, it doesn't hurt yet. But it will if you don't pay attention to... You see that bird under there? Ravens are messengers. Sometimes you might not like what they have to say, but they're going to tell you the truth. It's like, regardless if you want to hear it or not, it is someone here that have it be today or tomorrow. It's, you're going to end up hurt. It, you're going to end up hurting yourself if you continue to entertain this individual is basically what I'm saying. It's like your heart is pure. It's good right now. It's like, don't continue to deal with somebody that eventually is going to end up hurting you. Because you're going to be the one that's going to end up suffering. And I want to say it's like it's going to be three very important events that is going to transpire before you traditionally do what you need to do to let this shit go. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you before it starts, it's like this person hasn't even done the first infraction yet. But it's, you know, because off the, off bucks, it's like this person is already throwing your energy off. This person is not creating safe emotional harmony. <laughs> Come on now. And I see the three of cups right here. So it's like someone could be watching you do something like you're very comfortable. I want to say like you're very predictable too. I want to say like you have a set schedule. It's like you go to work. You pick your kids up. Like every Friday you guys go out to eat dinner. Um... I want to say like you like to go out to eat a lot. You like to go out and eat. It's like someone is watching you pour cups for individuals that are other than yourself. So it's like you could be in this point in your life right now where there's like um, an insane amount of overflow. You may have a lot of overflow. And I just heard if you don't pay attention, you might catch yourself pouring more into this individual than you're pouring into you and your children. I ain't even about to hold you. Because I feel like right now it's like you're focused on yourself and your kids at this time or whatever it is that you feel like is your priority to take care of. It's like it's more than enough for you and your priorities right now. You have enough to handle what you know what I'm saying? All cups, everything is being filled just by you. And uh, it, it, I'm feeling like it's like a struggle to let go. And I'm seeing a lot of threes. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't like it. Because the threes have to do with your creativity. 
It has to do with your self-confidence. It has to do with your communication skills, your imagination, you being self-expressive self and artistic. Like I said, you being social. So, uh, mm -mm. it's like this is like kind of like a, a warning. Because I feel like the cards is telling me that you need to focus on yourself and your passions and not this other individual because eventually like this person is going to hurt you just like they did all of the others and i want to say whoever this is has a pattern or has a history of doing this to people it's like they meet them whole and they leave them damaged and i feel like i'm telling you this for a reason I, like i'm telling you this for a reason like you're good right now you're good right now and it's like these people could be coming to you right now because you're good. Because you're good. And that's like a piece of lavender that was on my desk. So, it's like you could be very peaceful. You could be okay right now. So, I want to tell you to like avoid um, something that you, it's like laugh now, cry later. You don't want anything to come into your life that's going to throw you off of your passions. That's going to distract you. It says, trust and follow your renewed passions in your love, life, and career. It's like I, something I don't, I don't, mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's going to throw it off. Everything's going to go backwards. And I'm telling you about something before it happens. This is the before tarot. And okay, so this is what um, I just heard about when I seen this card. Again, remember when I saying something that's like distracting you? It's like you, you're not going to pay attention because it's like you're going to be focused on like some messages coming in from over here. It's like you paying more attention to matters of the heart and disruptive communication. I keep hearing about disruptive communication and it's going to be something that has to do with your livelihood or your passions or something that you were already focused on before you came into this situation. And it's like now this three of swords is coming and it's knocking you off your focus. And you may miss a very important invitation or um, opportunity. It's like it's like something may slip, may slip you by. It may slip past you. <laughs> you just heard that? It's like because... Instead of you paying attention to your inbox, to, again, like I'm saying, your email. And something you're supposed to respond back to because wands, I feel like it's the energy back and forth. It's back and forth, back and forth. Um, so it's like you might, you might have forget to send your confirmation for something. And it's like, because you were too busy going back and forth in emails or something. The, or arguing online, because I don't know, I, I, sometimes when I see swords, I, I look at that as like online communication. Or like you're paying attention to some type of online communication. It's like you missed a deadline or you missed something that you were supposed to respond back to in a certain amount of time. And it's like you may be sitting there waiting for something. Look. <laughs> You're waiting for a notification. You're waiting for something to come through. And it never comes because you forgot to do what you were supposed to do because you were distracted by something else. And this is something that you really wanted. Like this was like, um, why, why am I hearing this like some type of um, application or... Um, it could be like an award ceremony or something where it's like you have to submit your artwork or you got to submit your stuff 
Um, and you have to have your application in by a certain time. And I want to say it's like they accepted your application, but they needed you to send them a picture or like your portfolio. They needed you to send them back something and you did not do it in the right amount of time. And it's like, I guess they went on with the next applicant or something or you, you didn't complete your application. And that's why you never heard back from anybody. And I feel like you're going to be heartbroken by this shit because it's like, damn, how do, how did I fuck that shit up? Like, how did I... Miss that opportunity because you were you were being distracted by something that was not helping feeding your passions. It said, "Let your past go." Libra. steady progress let your past go and continue your steady progress forward i really do feel like you're going to miss your opportunity of something that's very very important to you and then notice the signs and you know very much so what i'm talking about you know very much so what I'm talking about, Libra. And then under the deck, you got see only love in this situation. I feel like you need to spare your heart because I feel like once you focus on yourself, you are focusing on everybody involved and you are like doing what you're supposed to do. Like focus on yourself, focus on your family. And you're going to get everything that you're supposed to have coming to you. You're going to have continuous moments of overflow. You're going to see the steady improvements. Like focus on your family. Focus on yourself. Focus on your kids. Like focus on giving to those that, that can't provide for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Meaning like the innocent. Like your kids. You know? Don't ever take your foot off of the ball. And that's why I'm glad I'm not seeing any like other guards. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like your steady progress for your, your yourself is, is being fucked up. And I, I feel like <laughs> it is saying that you're going to miss an opportunity if you don't pay attention to what we're saying here. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. Look, you see that? You see that? You taking care of what you need to do? We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. You do have a very giving heart. Like I said, you do have a very, very giving heart, Libra. And especially um, in regards to your children. And I said the ones that can't take care of for themselves. Like that could be your grandmother or, or like family members or something like that. Just the way you constantly pour into them. It's like God recognizes that. Don't take your fucking eye off of the prize, baby. Don't take your eye off of the prize. It says, see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus on the love that underlines every situation brings about healing in undreamed ways. I just heard you have to focus on yourself and the life lessons that God has been teaching to you. You can't.
focus yourself on other people and things that don't involve you. That's that's what I just heard. It's like you got to pay attention to yourself. Because it's like you're only hurting yourself in the long run if you don't. And I just heard like this is unforeseen communication. It's like... It's like bullshit coming or something like that. It's like unnecessary involvement. It's like something that you can easily get yourself out of or just say, wait, this don't have shit to do with me. Um, let me remove myself from the communication. It's something about communication and paying attention to who you're talking to. And it's like you don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you really don't. Because I just heard it's like this motherfuckers do shit just to throw you off or just to see you lose an opportunity or you know what I'm saying? It's like. Mm-mm. I just heard don't involve yourself this time. Don't involve yourself. Don't miss any opportunities because these motherfuckers see you doing good for yourself. And that's like sometimes people will legitimately come around because they see that your shit is over full like that. No, I don't got shit for you. Let go of your past. It says the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it is time to set the burdens down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. It's gone now. Like I said, you don't even have to engage. You don't. You absolutely don't. You got a pure, fresh heart. That thing is thrive, bright red and beaten, you know? It don't even got a scar or blemish on it. Why would you let somebody like that around you? Absolutely not. Especially if they're more so, it's like they're going to get in the way of opportunities. Because it's like, I, no, no, hell no. We're telling you now before it hurts. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you have been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. If you stumbled upon this message, you watched this for a reason. God is warning you before you make a mistake that can hurt you later on. You feel me? Don't even engage and communicate with these people. Don't do it. You don't want to miss any opportunity. And again, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Pay attention to the way your body reacts to certain shit. <laughs> Especially if you see, you see how them dark clouds are forming. Oh no. Oh no, baby. Relationship harmony. Since we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved, arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Because God is telling you to don't even do it this time. <laughs> don't even involve yourself. You feel me? Mm. Focus on your churn. <laughs> Focus on your cheering. Focus on your cheering and your grandma and them. Okay? Focus on that. Girl, you will have more. You got the king of wands in the reverse. Mm, mm, mm. What is this? The eight of cups. And is this the eight of cups in the reverse? Look, and it's the skunk. Oof. Oof. Give me two more cards. What is this? Child. You got the ten of coins. Didn't I tell you that this motherfucker... If someone's just coming to distract you, just to throw you off course. I don't know if your house is is beautiful. This is the Ten of Coins. Did you just move to a new house? 
or a new state of stability or something like that. Whatever it is that's going on with you, Libra, it's been growing. And I, I, people understand that and they can see that. No, ma'am. And then you got the page of swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Like, number one, I love seeing the page of swords because it's like, I'm going to rid you. <laughs> I'm going to rid you of this annoyance. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the page of swords in the upright is someone that um, speaks without being spoken to. That divulges unnecessary information. Um, I'm going to say that, that is extremely inse insecure and immature. It's like um, involuntary fact spitting. And then half of the shit that they're saying isn't even necessarily the truth anyway. It's like it's some of it's the truth, but... You can tell it's like they really didn't do thorough research. They really don't really know what they're talking about. They just like hearing their self talk. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like the page of swords in the reverse is someone that is like thoroughly educated. That knows more about their self. Then they know about other individuals. So as long as I know thyself, I can move around individuals <laughs> in a very skillful manner. So this is someone that um, I want to say is like a loner. So like you may be in the comforts of your own home. Um, it could possibly be by yourself. Like the Page of Swords, I definitely feel like is by itself or like only keeps in close communication people that they already talk to all the time it's like this this is not someone that goes out seeking to just talk to unnecessary people because remember i said the page of swords and the upright is someone that just it's like a chatty patty like a chatterbox no this is like a more reserved more adult like more mature um i want to say like an introvert So I want to say like you are, and again, like you see what's going on in the home. You see steady progress. You're only seeing love. You only see love with the people that, that you invite inside. It's like, so you could be very, very comfortable right now. And I feel like you are not talking to a lot of unworthy individuals or, um, I want to say like blocked messages or I just heard an underlying inadequate of space. It's like I don't have enough space or um, what is it? Not bandwidth, but it's like memory in my phone or it's like I don't have enough space. It's, not, it, 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 it's like it's like a it's not enough storage space or something so it's like you can't take on anything more you, take, you can't take on any commu more communication you can't take on any more um inquiries I just heard it's like I stopped working after five. So it was like you could have like a, a very strict cutoff line um, from your work life and your personal life. And it's like you don't let it cross. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a strict borderline. It's like a strict cutoff. Because it's like someone goes into the comfort of their home and... And it's like even when they're in the comfort of their home, there's no studying, there's no, there's nothing but family time. So it's like at some level of different standard in this home. And I feel like your home life is steady, improving. And I feel like you love coming home and cooking and cleaning and taking care of your family. Like 
I want to say you have a very good balance. I want to say like this past, whatever this is, this, this clearly has something to do with your past. You got the Eight of Cups. So it's like someone could be retracing their footprints. It's like trying to figure out a way to get back to you. Um, I just heard like the long rider. Like this could be someone that um, you haven't spoken to for a long time. Enough for you to have developed a ten of coins on your own. Because again, this is the page of swords in the reverse. And I want to say you could have taken a long time self-discovering things about yourself. Because I want to say at one point in your life, you probably were very predictable and immature. And I want to say this is someone that took a long look at their self. And doesn't want to act like that no more. I really do feel like that. It's like very, very mature. I heard very passion seeking. Very entrepreneurial. Like you guys could be very focused on your own passions and building like your future going forward, especially with that Ten of Pentacles. It's like about home security. It's about luxury. It's about not to make it sound superficial, but it's about the look. It's like you want your aesthetics. You want when you come home, everything, when you pull up, you want to feel comfortable. You want to see your achievements. You want to feel your achievements. You just want to be happy. And it's steady improvements that way. There's somebody or something that is the king of wands and somebody that doesn't really know their self. I feel like the king of wands is somebody or um, like that. Well, I feel like this could be your dad. Um, like this could be someone's father as well. Um, coming back after they see um, a child that has obtained a certain level of success. Um, I want to say with this page of swords, like you could have on a multitude of different times try to reach out and speak to this person. And, and I want to say it's like you could have been blocked or just like you. I just heard not reaching out no more. So like this is jumping into like a father, son, like a father, daughter, like an absentee father type of situation. Um, I feel like this father could be coming back around. Mainly because I want to say like they see your success. And they see how giving you are and, and, and all of this these things. This is not a permanent energy. So it's like I, I don't want this person to come around and hurt you unnecessarily. Like pay attention to the signs. It's like they are. Um, it's like it's like some type of repeated in and out behavior. And it's like this person is old enough and has either done this enough to other people or. Um, it's like they kind of showed their face before. It's like whatever old habits. I just heard old habits die hard. So it's like this person is going. This person is going to be a victim of a person of their same personality to learn to change these behaviors. And it may be a long time from now before this person um, is a victim of their own habits. Sometimes it takes someone to meet someone that is very like their self um, and for them to get a taste of their own medicine to realize. And it could very much so be um, now at old age, the way that this person parent was acting towards the child now the child is acting towards the parent it's like now that the parent is trying to come back around and really wants they're old now and it's like their engine isn't it's like they can't move around like they used to it's like they slow down like they can't move around and get around and and you know for you to chase them or chase after them it's like you're not chasing after them 
this relationship anymore. You're not chasing after. It's like I, I'm I'm done. Like I don't I I don't I found my own security. And it's like I no longer have a desire for this connection or to have a relationship with you anymore. Like you're old now. Like what difference does it make at this point? You know? Hold on. And it's like it's something about the Libra knows that this person isn't going to stay around. It's like, yeah, you might, we might be good for like three months or some shit. And then you're going to be back at your old shit again. Um, why am I, I, I feel like this is like a parent, like an absentee father or some shit like that. It's like I created my own home security. It's like I'm not going to, um not pay attention to what's in front of me looking behind anymore do you feel what i'm saying it's like i've kind of got over that past shit of waiting to see if you're going to come waiting to see if you're going to show up like you always promising me that you're going to come and pick me up it's like yeah i used to do this shit when i was a kid like i got my own foundation my own kids like i would never do this shit to my kids i make sure my kids are overfilled like they don't and it's just me and it's just me. And I do this shit by myself. I do this shit for my kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like on some real ass shit. So it's like it could be like a conversation where it's like as well as like I do this shit for mine every day. It's, it's like it's, it's something where it's like it's no excuse for why you didn't show up. For why you didn't. I just heard sent pictures or... Like, try to keep in communication or, or something like that. It's like someone could want back into someone's life um, because they see the love. They see the, nourish, the nourishment. Look, nourishment as well. They know they're going to be fed and taken care of. And, and it's like, I, I'm, I'm missing out on that. I'm missing out on that opportunity I want. Um... I want to retrace my footsteps and try to fix the past, but it's like, I'm not letting you. Notice the reoccurring, the reoccurring emotions and physical feelings as they signify divine guidance. You're going to do exactly what you used to do and you're going to come and you're going to get a refill. And then you're going to be off on your bullshit again. And if I allow you to do that, you're going to think that you can continue to come and go and have this repeat of patterns. And you think that you're going to always be able to retrace your full, uh, your footsteps whenever you need to come back and get a refill. And I'm good on that shit. Old dog don't learn no new tricks, baby. Not only that. But you're not teaching that shit to my kids. You're not. You would not want to come in and out. In and out. Uh-uh. This is. This is. Nah. I'm cutting that shit off at the door. Mm-mm. You would not be showing. You would not be introducing that to nobody in this house. <laughs> like, we're good. Without that. It's like, you, you want. You need something. Because the Eight of Cups is like, remember, it's like someone left and it's like they took everything out of the cups and left with nothing behind. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a whole bunch of empty vessels. So it's like whatever was behind couldn't get anything anyway because whoever, what they consumed it and went on about their business. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You took everything that you had and consumed it and took that shit with you. And you giving that shit to... <laughs> you feel me? You were filling your cups up where they deserve to be filled at. I wish the fuck I would. I wish the fuck I would leave a drop for you. And then this motherfucker like, hold on, where you going? Like, where you going? Like... 
You you didn't even leave me in no water. You did not. But was I so bitch? Was I supposed to? So now this is going into something else. Okay, so this could be like uh, some relationship, but y'all take it how it resonates, cause y'all y'all know this shit jumps around. I, I'm kind of getting like a um I am getting like a, a, a son that their father left them and they're successful and this man is a single father and this man got his kids he have his kids with him all the time excuse me and I don't know if this was a, a, a father that was like a party party guy like they you know used to drink too much um the eight of cups is as well as i feel like um god why well, i just heard like a um a hernia is, isn't a hernia it's like when it's like something going on with your stomach it's like a um i'm, I'm getting like a stomach pains or something it's like a stuff it's an ulcer or Something going on with the stomach. And it's like, um, this person, I feel like this person is sick as well. Because it's like they need nurturing and nourishment or something like that. And while I'm, I'm looking at this skunk, it's like this person could like have an odor. Um, I want to say it's like that alcohol abuse. It's like it could be coming out of this person. It's poor. So it's like this person could stink because it's not that they don't take a bath, but it's like they have like an odor to them because of their alcohol usage or something like that. And it's like it could be like this person's body could be breaking down at old age because I want to say like substance abuse and all of this stuff like that. But this Libra, and I'm sorry, I don't mean it. I feel like I'm going on it, on it, and I'm about to wrap this up because this is the end. But um, it's something about no matter what, it's like I can't take my focus off of my kids and all of this progress and, and, and how mature I have grown throughout all of these years to turn back and look back to help you when you've done nothing, you haven't shown that loyalty to me. So it's like, I'm going to have to miss this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It's like, to where as though, yeah, I might have waited all of these years for this opportunity to finally come. But it's like, I'm going to take advantage of what's in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't have time to... Um, allow anything or anybody to come and waste my time while I'm taking my foot off of the gas when I got so much going forward. Like, I, you can't stall me. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, this would be a waste of time or be a waste of energy or you would just come and slow me down. And it's like I'm not looking forward to carrying you with me or helping you. It's like I'm not looking forward to that. I don't I don't want to do that. So it's like I, I it's like I'm sorry. It's like I, I, I send you this communication with love, but I don't want to get involved with you. It's like honestly, like I, I don't want to get involved with you. It's like I gotta leave whatever we had in the past or whatever relationship that we were trying to build like the the best way for me to find harmony is to tell you no I can't help you 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 can't come back you know what I'm saying I know that you're trying to retrace footsteps to try to find a way to rebuild and um you are getting old and you know but that don't mean that you changed that don't mean that you changed and I'm not going to allow you to come and disturb my groove or interrupt my family or the peace of my home 
just for you to show me the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to pay attention to the signs and I got to send you off with love. I honestly wish you the best, but I got to I gotta say no. I got to say no. Like, even though, yeah, you're my father or you're my friend or you're my kid's father, whoever it is, like, I'm comfortable and I'm happy where things are at. And I'm at peace with it. And that's just, it just, okay, sarah, sarah, like, I don't know. You got to figure it out yourself, but you're not, I'm not in, involving myself with you this time around. And that's just it. That's just it. <laughs> that's just it. My candle went out and everything. So Libra, this has been your reading. Like this, this is a warning. But this is like at the end. Like at first, I didn't. I was like Libra because it felt like um something that had to do with with with, with a love situation that you could be avoiding because you're good. And it could be that. Um, and it it could be everything that I just said because I'm reading collectively for everybody, but. This is a love situation, Libra. Mm -mm. You are so good right now. You are so good right now. Don't disturb your groove, baby. Okay, this is it. I'm about to go do your love reading. So make sure y'all hit the like, share, subscribe button over here. Y'all let me know how this resonates for y'all down in the chat. And y'all come over and see me in the love portion, okay? I'll see y'all in a second. Peace.